Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade peppermint marshmallows. These would be great to share as a gift to friends or coworkers, or you could use it for hot chocolate or just simply as a sweet treat. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need to make the marshmallows will be listed in the information box below or you can find it on the website. The ingredients are You'll need some water that you've divided. You'll need some unflavored gelatin. This is the original Knox gelatin. You'll need some peppermint extract, sugar, evaporated milk, and for sprinkling on the top, I'm going to use crushed peppermint. You'll need to prepare an eight by eight square pan with butter, and I've just simply taken butter and rubbed it all inside of the pan, and then I have sprinkled powdered sugar all over. This will prevent the marshmallows from sticking to the pan and make it easy to remove them. I'm going to start by working with my gelatin and what I'm going to do is I have the bowl to my standing mixer here and I'm going to pour in the half cup of water and then I'm going to sprinkle all of the packs of gelatin over top of the water. So there's the first one. And that one. And one more. And we're just going to let this sit for about 10 minutes while we move on to the rest of the recipe and the gelatin will be absorbed into the water. I have my saucepan here. I'm going to add my sugar and my evaporated milk and my quarter cup of water. I'm going to turn this on and we're going to stir this together until the sugar dissolves. Okay, my sugar is melted, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop stirring and I'm going to let this simmer until it reaches about 240 degrees. And I have a candy thermometer to let me know when that happens. This mixture has been simmering for about 12 minutes and now I'm ready to move on to the next step. The gelatin mixture has been sitting in the mixer and now I'm ready to move on. And what I'm gonna do is turn it on low and slowly add my hot mixture. And I'm gonna gradually increase the speed. together for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's tripled in volume. My mixture has tripled in volume and now I've turned my mixer down just a little bit so I can add my peppermint extract. I'm going to turn it back up to incorporate it all into the mixture. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put it in the pan that we prepared this off. Try to get as much off of here as I can. This is a sticky mixture. Okay, I have my pan that I prepared earlier. Now I'm just going to pour all of this in into the pan on top of the powdered sugar. Now, if you wanted to make marshmallows for hot chocolate, you might want to use a pan that's not quite as deep and the marshmallows would be easier to use in hot chocolate. It would be maybe a nine by 13 pan that you could use and just spread them out a little thinner. As you can see, this is not the easiest thing to work with because it's so sticky, but you just have to keep messing with it. I've smoothed my marshmallows as best I can in this pan. Now I'm just going to sprinkle this peppermint that's crushed over the top. It's going to add some color and it's going to just be pretty. Like I said, this would make a good gift to give to a neighbor or coworker if you wanted to package it up in a pretty little box. I'm just going to do as much as I can and it'll stick as it dries. 
So the next step to, to the marshmallows are, we are going to just leave this on our counter overnight. They're going to dry out, and then tomorrow I will show you what it looks like when we cut them. My marshmallows have been sitting on my counter overnight, and now I'm ready to take them out of the pan and cut them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar on my cutting board here, because I'm gonna put them on here to cut them, and I don't want them to, to stick if there's any stickiness on the bottom of them. And so I've got a knife here. I'm gonna run it around the edge of the marshmallows. And it's loosened up, so we're going to just put the spatula under, lift them out, and put them on the cutting board. So I have my scissors here in the confection of sugar, and this is how I'm going to cut them instead of using a knife. So I dip them in, and now I'm just going to simply start cutting, just like this. And I'm going to start in half, and that way I can portion them better. Just make sure I have it all the way through. Dip them back in again. And just continue on cutting. You can make them as big or as little as you desire. Okay, my marshmallows are all cut, so now I'm going to put a little bit more powdered sugar right here on my cutting board, and I'm going to dip the sides in and put them on a serving tray. That just keeps them from being so sticky or sticking together. Just gonna continue on with all the cut sides. Okay, so my tray is full. And this is what they look like on the tray. These are homemade peppermint marshmallows. I hope you enjoy them.